gives me a workout for the day. It's almost more food than she can carry, but Michelle Reining and her team at Food Runners know it's just a start. The organization uses app technology to donate surplus food from local businesses to organizations throughout Vancouver. We're seeing a real need across the city. Over one in 10 households are food insecure right now. Um, so we're, you know, we're doing as much as we can. Today's donation comes from the meal kit delivery service Fresh Prep, which began working with food runners just last year. The less we throw away, the more we have and the better we use it, the more there is for everyone. Food Runners is a completely voluntary service that runs on donations. Last year, they donated over 700,000 pounds of food, but a lack of dedicated funding has them running thin. Economically, as, as a country, it, it's not the, the best time to be fundraising at the moment, right? So yeah, it, it's not the easiest right now. Before Fresh Prep was giving away their produce to organizations like Food Runners, it would end up in waste bins like this one and straight into the landfill. This food systems researcher tells CBC that while food insecurity typically affects racialized Canadians, the rising cost of inflation means more people are now turning to food banks and other charities for help. People that go to food banks, many of them actually have multiple jobs. Universities are actually increasingly establishing food banks within their own campus. Soma says more funding is needed to address the larger systemic issues that contribute to food insecurity. Last summer, Food Banks Canada reported that an estimated 7 million Canadians are eating less food than they would like because they simply can't afford it. For now, organizations like Food Runners will continue trying their best packing up boxes of food, knowing it's more than they alone can carry. Yasmin Kandem, CBC News, Vancouver.